As we celebrate this Christmas season and the end of another year, I am so grateful for this opportunity to invite you to reflect on the past year and how fortunate we are. I thank the Almighty God for good health, strength, and the blessings that He has bestowed upon us all. The world experienced the outbreak of a global medical pandemic of the coronavirus. With the statistical daily effects of the coronavirus, none of us knew where we would be today. The past year have been challenging, more so for some than others. COVID-19 has led to a dramatic loss of lives and our island was not spared. We are still experiencing the devastation and ramifications of the global economy, which have affected our progression as a country as we don't exist in a vacuum. We had to adopt to the new normal which created reform changes and disruption to our daily social life. Whilst this past year will be unforgettable, let this Christmas be humanely different. Perhaps it can be the best year to practice the true meaning of the season. It provides the perfect opportunity to demonstrate many acts of volunteerism, compassion and kindness in being our brother's keeper. I am certain that this year showed and reminded us of the things that are really important. I was pleased with the way we reached out to each other during the core of the pandemic, especially when this country was on shutdown. I encourage us all to amplify these gestures during this festive season. Our traditional ways to spread cheer may be altered, but the true spirit of Christmas, of giving and sharing, must never be diminished. The season beckons of us to keep reaching out to help those who are less privileged, the elderly, the vulnerable, and the homebound. It will never be too much to express our profound gratitude to our essential workers for their service and sacrifice in this continued fight against COVID-19. The chief medical officer and staff, the medical staff at the Sufre Hospital and Health Centers, the police and fire officers at the Sufre stations, and other essential public service providers. Our prayers are with all those battling illness, especially the overwhelming virus of COVID-19. We remember those we have lost this past year. For me personally, I remember the sudden passing of my best friend, King Nigel Mansell Mondesi, and all of my other constituents who have passed on. We pray that their souls rest in perpetual peace. As we celebrate the season, I am fortified, as I have done for the past four years, to share this message of hope, joy, and anticipation for the new year. To my people of Sufre, Fons, and Jacques, I will forever be grateful for your trust and confidence in me. I thank you for your prayers that strengthen and give me courage daily as I represent your interest. We are a resilient people. We have endured and recovered from unfortunate circumstances and can only be stronger when we support each other. Let us remain focused in realizing our vision in making Soufre for Saint Jacques the jewel of St. Lucia and the Eden of the Caribbean. Despite the unprecedented challenges we've all faced for the past year, we are grateful for the continued progress we have been able to achieve. Though suppressed, we recorded significant progress to several parts of the constituency during the past year. We are pressing with the rehabilitation of the Sufre Stadium, with the turf and track installation complete, the commencement and ongoing reconstruction of new development road network, and many other projects and programs implemented in the past year. As we look forward to the upcoming new year with great anticipation and confidence, I am pleased to announce of immediate upcoming initiatives. The construction of the Palmis vending facility to foster local economic development, commencement of Old Trafford Phase 2 project, the Esperance Fruit Diamond Road construction, the Zeno Road rehabilitation, the Boarden Belfort Road rehabilitation, the installation of lights and washroom at Foster Jack Plainfield, the construction of the Ruby Cricket Ground, and many other initiatives throughout the length and breadth of the constituency. These projects are a continuation of our transformative agenda and the promise to build a new St. Lucia, constituency by constituency, community by community, the empowerment and advancement of the lives of the people of Soufre-Fonsejac 
will transfigure our beautiful constituency. I join my constituents in thanking the government of St. Lucia for their respective departments and personnel, my cabinet colleagues, fellow parliamentarians, partnering agencies, and friendly governments for your considerations in the past and look favorable to our satisfying relationship in the future. Your contributions are incalculable. I take this opportunity to thank everyone for the service to the development of the constituency. Your service, partnership, and interventions have positively impacted the people of Soufre von St. Jacques. To the management and staff at the Department of Physical Planning, I thank you all for your dedication and service to the public and national development. As we move into 2021, it is my wish that we continue in the spirit of hope and optimism. Our nation has made significant progress under this administration. I encourage everyone to remain united with my government to keep our nation on a sustainable path. Let us all remain resolute and united as a people bonded in love. I am hopeful the experiences of the past years will bring us all closer together. Let us find safe ways to celebrate this season. Please practice patience and awareness and adhere to the protocols to limit the spread of COVID-19. My family and I wish you both here and abroad blessings of good health, happiness and prosperity throughout this coming year. Merry Christmas and we look forward to a happy and brighter year ahead. I thank you.